Friendsgiving is one of my favorite holidays. It's a day to kick back and eat too much with some of your favorite people. It's a day to focus on being joyful and forget about work from it. Until you're a finalist on Top Chef. Then your friends expect you to do all the cooking all the time. So today, I'm challenging two of my season 18 friends to create a stellar side dish that elevates the humble potato. Hello. Hey chefs. <laughs> Are you guys What's ready to meet some people? Of course. How are we doing? Of course. It's good to see you guys like this again. <laughs> and I'm on this side. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I suspect it might be more fun on that side, but we're still gonna have fun, right, girl? Oh yeah. Every Friendsgiving, there's always potatoes on the table, but they're not talked about as much. Everyone talks about the turkey and the main. Today, I want the potatoes to shine so much that everyone's gonna be like, turkey who? <laughs> <laughs> Shoda being Shoda. All right, let's, make let's do it, let's do it. Our friends at Campbell's have stocked our pantry with a ton of ingredients. I want you guys to use one of their products in your dish. You guys are gonna have 40 minutes for your challenge. Let's make the potatoes the star of the show. And your time starts now. I always wanted to say that. <laughs> Here we go. Hi, What's Papito. up, lady? What How you, you thinking? Doing? You know, patatas bravas, the papas bravas, like I know exactly Spanish. what that is. Claro. No. See? No? Well, OK. It's, it's, an <laughs> it's a dish from Spain. I use fingerling potatoes, Campbell's tomato soup, chipotle and adobo, butter, and a bunch of citrus. I actually boil the potatoes in broth and stock. Once the potatoes are fork ready, do not throw away that stock because now it has potato flavor. I'm a little snacky right now, so you know. Snacky? <laughs> Is that a word? Maria is bringing the heat and the spice. Don, do you have anything to taste? Not a one thing. In a minute, you'll be able to have some stuff. I don't have patience, and it's smelling really no. good in here. You're gonna slap me. I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, told, I told what I said was that it's not done. That's yes, what I said in my mama voice. Yes, chef. I'm making a potato medley with brown butter, hazelnut, and sage granolata, oyster mushrooms, and a mushroom cream. And the star of the show is the cream of mushroom soup. I'm gonna get the flavor on the plate by using Campbell's cream of mushroom soup at the base for delicious cream sauce. Mm -hmm. Sweet, there you thank go. you. Mmm, -hmm. mm, that's yummy. Thank you. I love the oyster flavor in there. Don's always about that cozy flavor that wraps you around. Break the skin of a potato, especially the small ones, because if you sear it in hot oil, it would yield a beautiful, crispy potato that you will love. Just so you guys know, the timer goes a lot slower when you're not cooking. Really? Well, thank you for rubbing it in, kid. I have another towel, please. Maria, we have five minutes. You got some hungry people. They might be a little hangry, too. All right, chefs, two minutes left. Five, four, Three, two, one. Hands up, chefs. Good job, guys. Woo. Did it. Woohoo! All right. Oh. Ready for some Friendsgiving? <laughs> eat some food, <laughs> eat some snacks. Oh. Hi, guys. Hello. So, are you guys hungry? Don, do you want to give us a little explanation of what you made today? Absolutely. I made a potato medley. On top, you'll find a hazelnut gremolata with brown butter and honey. I think what ties it all together is the mushroom cream sauce that I put at the bottom. It is super easy to make, and I think everyone at home will be able to make this. I feel like you adding those oyster mushrooms in it really elevated the cream of mushroom soup. You know, it's one of those like flavor profiles that you grew up eating, so it's cozy, but you kind of added a little edge to it. Love so it. It's really love it. That's what I was going for. So Maria, do you want to talk about your dish and yeah. the ingredients you use? For the agridulce, the Campbell's tomato soup already packed that flavor for me, so it did half of the work. I used lemon, lime, and blood orange. A little bit of honey, lots of garlic. So to make at home for anyone, how easy would you say it is? Super easy. You can make the sauce ahead of time, boil the potatoes ahead of time, let's say a day before Thanksgiving, so you're not like rushing and have them in the fridge. And then you already have a vegetable seasoned chicken broth as well, so you can literally kill two birds with one stone. I really love the acidity you added. Turkey is gonna make you tired, but the spice is gonna wake you up. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for letting me watch in the kitchen. I learned a lot, and I'm excited to cook these for my friends. 
for many years to come. Yes. Well, thank you for having thank us. You. Yes, definitely. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank, thank you, you guys. Yeah.